Welcome back to Make Me a Fan. I'm the Jag. I'm Pete. And today we're doing something just a little bit different. Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. What are we doing right now? We're locked at home. Well, Absolutely. We're, we're safe at home. I saw a meme that says, change the way you look at it. You're not stuck at home. You're safe at home. So we are safe at Casa de Pedia, okay? And we're going to do something a little different because there's no live wrestling to review. There isn't. So what are we going to watch? So uh, you actually found a thread on Squared Circle that was okay. show me, yeah, some great matches uh, that are underrated. So. We're doing the first one on the list. We're going to the Royal Rumble 2001. Damn. And we're gonna see the Dudley Boys versus Edge and Christian. Oh my gosh. You wanna talk about some classic tag team wrestling. Yeah. Those names automatically, it's like a time machine. It's like when you hear a good song and it makes you think of a time past. You think of Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys makes me think of probably late 90s, early 2000s. Oh yeah, and imagine that, you know, this is gonna lead on to the TLC match. Of course, which is ridiculous and kind of changed the game forever in well, my it, opinion. You know, 100%, and that's exactly it is. It's like, this is the precursor. This is what's going to lead up to yes. the TLC match that everybody now knows infamously. All right, now here's the problem, Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. I am a casual fan. Yes, sir. You are an encyclopedia, okay? So we're gonna watch this thing and I feel like you're gonna have, I think we both need to have a critical eye. I might even put on my encyclopedia hat Ooh, to try to analyze the match a little bit more than just, hell yeah, that was cool, or hell no, that was whack. So maybe we'll come back with some interesting commentary, some Pete's points, maybe some Jags jabs to talk about what worked, what didn't work, and why you should watch this freaking match. What do you think? 100%, sir. I think we'll come back after uh, the match starts right about now. All right, so we just finished watching the Dudley Boys versus Edge and Christian in Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. I have notes. Oh, excellent. That's okay, first things first. I know you do, because you're in the Encyclopedia, all right? The Jack doesn't normally have notes. I just talk trash. But today, I am prepared. So, number one, the freaking entrance music. Oh, yeah. Son of a biscuit. You knew what time it was when that music hit and the guitar is going, you got the freaking bomb, which sometimes they had the little bomb pyro or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. But then it comes out and I forgot how catchy that music was. 100%, man. Oh man, because even after the first part, da, 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 do, 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 and then it keeps going and I'm just like grooving with it. And the same thing with Edge and Christian's music. You think you know me? Come, I mean, come on, on, dude. Oh no, it's peak. This is peak my WWE fandom, man. And, and as I was telling Jag, as we're sitting there watching this, this is the end of WCW at this point. They are now completely in that nosedive because within two months of this, you have the uh, Monday Nitro where Shane McMahon shows up. Okay, yeah. And then the next week after that is WrestleMania. Mm, yeah. But speaking of that WrestleMania that happened to have that tables, ladders, and chairs match. You're damn right. This match led into that where the Dudley boys ended up getting the win. Yes. Over yeah. edging Christian. Most definitely. If you have not seen this, take your butt to the WWE Network and watch this match. But I'm not done, Pete. I got more notes. Oh, absolutely. So I put a great look, the camouflage. The camouflage, they had so many different color schemes of camouflage. They had like the the, the burgundy camouflage. This no, one was no, like they, the they, French Special Forces with the green and the burgundy. This looked fantastic. Oh yeah. I mean, the look was, I mean, dude, the gear was amazing. Even 100%. Christian with the mesh shirt and everything. They look great. These guys look like a million bucks. This looked like a spectacle that you wanted to actually see. Oh, 100%. Yeah, no, the, everything about their costuming was phenomenal, but what about the match? Mm. Clearly, clearly you saw that Edge and Christian were the heels coming into oh, this and yeah. the, the crowd absolutely wanted to see them lose and oh, yeah. with all the cheating and all the double teaming and yep. them just completely running over Mike Kyoto. What's going on, guys? Absolutely. I wrote my notes. The ref spots were awesome. The ref's distraction and whatever was fantastic. When they would illegally tag each other in, it was the storytelling, which we talk about storytelling all the time. We will not beat the horse today. But you were fully invested. You knew who was who. You knew what was happening. And you were, if you weren't rooting for the Dudley boys, you were just an idiot because you clearly didn't understand what was going on. They put over the concussion, the double concerto on SmackDown or whatever a couple nights prior. The, 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 the table was set and that was just time to freaking enjoy. 100% man. And this, was, and this was the opening match at Royal Rumble 2001 and you wonder why WWE won the war. Yeah. I maybe. don't know. Maybe the first match of the first show of the of the new decade, yeah. you know, essentially. I will say, I don't know anything WCW was doing that could compete with this because oh, if no. you look at the crowd, the signs. The first signs. of all, how many signs? We have signs nowadays, but this was a sea of signs. Okay? Yeah, it was a thing to have a sign at a show. Hell yeah. They have the uh, Curly for President sign with the <laughs> with the, the tape and the glasses, you know, so it looked like Bubba. There, there was a sign in like the second row, it was a what's up sign. Exactly, and like the crowd pop for that stuff, man. When the Dudleys went for that, 
Ooh, Everybody knew what time Ooh, it was. Daddy. Everybody was invested because they knew what to expect. And when it came, the payoff was fantastic. Or when it didn't happen, then they were pissed because you were hoping to see it. You were expecting to see it. Peaks and valleys. Exactly. Peaks and valleys. The crowd was part of the match. Well, they, he, they and them just, just, just orchestrating and, oh, just, yeah. and just conducting the crowd. I mean, Dude. world class. I mean, it's a, it's a it's about a three star match, but I'm telling you, they had that crowd going. The, uh, the, the yeah, crowd it wasn't was, the, the match itself wasn't that, like it wasn't groundbreaking. It was good storytelling, 100%. but the moves, whatever you want to call it, techniques, whatever you want to call it, weren't. It wasn't like a, a technical grappling match. It wasn't Daga versus you know Jake Atlas. It wasn't Daga versus freaking you know um, who was the other Daga match we saw that we loved. Oh, uh, Brian Cage. Mm -hmm. Damn, yeah. It, there wasn't any Spanish flies off the top rope. There weren't any, um, you know, there weren't any dives. Holy mother of pearl. We told a great story, the crowd eating out of the palm of your hand, and nobody had to throw themselves out of the ring. There was no low pay or toe pay to be found. Am I right? That's okay. It wasn't necessary, people. It was that good. All they had to say was, Devon! And the crowd loses their ever-loving minds. Everybody knew what time it was. They knew what the guys were with Edge and Christian were gonna do when they got the two chairs. They knew exactly what that, even when Edge and Christian tried to do the what's up dive, everybody knew what was happening. Everybody knew what time it was. And, and it was it was, it was was a good time it was had by all, I would say. 100%. Man, that was fantastic. Let me check the notes one more time. And I know this is unconventional. The Jag does not normally look at his notes. The encyclopedia has all the notes up here. But I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything. Christian is underrated. That's another note that I put in there. Christian does not get the respect he deserves. He needs to be in the freaking Hall of Fame. 100%. He then, is prolific and gifted. Christian, if I ever get the chance to shake your hand, I'm gonna give it the mega powers. I know we can't shake hands right now, but I'm gonna give it the mega powers, slow motion, just so I can cherish it because Christian is so damn talented. Encyclopedia. Yes, sir. Why doesn't Christian get the respect he deserves? Well, I think you're gonna love that in the education of Jag, I'm gonna show you when he goes to TNA and he mm. proves that he was way better than, and that's why he came back to WWE okay. and had that great run where it was like, okay, I'm at the level of edge. And you're mm. completely right that uh, Christian isn't in the Hall of Fame, absolutely needs to be in the Hall of Fame. And he he's, that, he's that caliber oh. of an athlete. And he's such a character. He did a, a, one of those uh, freestyle battles on whatever the after show is, the, the show the punk's on. I don't know what it's called, I've only watched it a couple times. But he did the Freestyle Academy or Freestyle School or, or Promo School yeah. segment. And off the top of the head, he was just killing it. So oh, phenomenal. The dude is amazing. If you don't know and you don't appreciate Christian, first of all, check your pulse, because you're dead. He's amazing. I'd like to see him come back, not necessarily to wrestle, but maybe a GM role, maybe a management role. Just And then after he does something amazing in that respect, then put the man in the freaking Hall of Fame because he deserves it. Hashtag Christian for the Hall. I mean, I don't know if that's a real hashtag, but I just We're made starting. it. All right. Um, oh, love those belts. Oh, absolutely. Those are those were the, and those were the gold ones when they were gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The belts now look like a shitty penny. I mean, you know, it's a Trojan head or warrior head or whatever the hell's on there. It doesn't look good to me, man. Those belts were great. I I understand. But if you know. if we are tag team champions and we have a choice between the the freaking penny head and these, which one are you taking? Me, I'm taking those ones all, all day. day, every day. Oh, yeah. I don't know who made the decision to switch to these crap tastic belts, but whatever. It's been over 10 years, almost 15. Of the stupid penny ones? Oh, get rid of those suckers. Yeah, they've been like 10 years, man. Last but not least, JR killing it on commentary, screaming, hollering, just putting everybody over. JR is the best in the business, maybe not anymore. But I mean, he was at, at this time. Oh yeah, no, oh. this is this is peak him and the king. None better. And you can't say anything about tech. You can't. As much as Jr. may have lost a step, you cannot take away from his body of work. And this is a testament to how great he and the king were together. And it was just yeah. I, you almost don't even notice it because you take it for granted. How, oh for sure. How, how great they, they were. Yeah. You got to remember that they're the. It's it's a two way dance that yeah. you've got to be have the people to tell the story yeah. and sing the lyrics as everyone's doing the work in the ring. So you oh, know yeah. it's. It's one of those things that this is model. Like, hey, you, you wanna see the best do the best? Start right here. And that's it for my notes, Pete. You got anything else you wanna add? No, but uh, I will tell you what tomorrow's video is. Ooh, Next I mean, one on the list. Are okay. you ready for this one? I am ready. It's gonna be Bret Hart mm. versus Jean-Pierre Lafitte. I see, the excellence of execution versus uh, uh, one of the Quebecers? Maybe a guy that's named PC. Oh! Oh, now it's coming together. PCO, we're PCO. talking about. So before he mm. was PCO, he was Jean-Pierre Lafitte. 
and the Quebecers. So, All right, yeah. definitely. Look, this is gonna be exciting. I like watching the old stuff. It kind of gives you that nostalgia. And if you are watching along, which means you opened up a tab, you went to the WWE Network, you watch this stuff. Tomorrow, it's another WWE one, right? It is. So this it's gonna be on the network. In your house, number three. You're home. You're in your own house. So we're gonna watch In Your House, number three tomorrow, nine o'clock Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern. You got nowhere else to go. So we'll be back here with the encyclopedia and the JAG. Follow us at MakeMeFan316 on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And I think that's it. That's it. See you tomorrow.